गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेट डिस्कस देशिक्स ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स इन विच वी कवर प्रेशर टेम्परेचर हीट मोड्स ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर एंड फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर सिस्टम सराउंडिंग एंड बाउंड्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सिस्टम सिस्टम इज नथिंग एल्स इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्स सिस्टम मीन्स इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू इंस्टॉल एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम इन ऑडिटोरियम सो माई डिटेल स्टडी इज नंबर ऑफ पर्सन ऑक्यूपाइड इन साइड द क्लासरूम हिटिंग लोड नंबर ऑफ विंडो नंबर ऑफ वॉल एक्सपोज इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सन सो दिस ऑल आर द हिट गेन सोर्सिस so this auditorium is my system for the detailed study so system is nothing else you can consider any part of universe for example in case of a domestic refrigerator this is a domestic refrigerator okay so suppose here we are considering the internal part of the refrigerator is my system the wall of the refrigerator is my boundary and outside the boundary it is called surrounding so system means any part of universe it is called system boundary means what so it will separate the system to surrounding it is called boundary so in case of a refrigerator the wall of refrigerator is my boundary and outside the boundary it is called surrounding here we are considering air outside air it is my surrounding so further i repeat what is system system means any part of universe here we are considering in the refrigerator the inside cabinet is my system what is boundary so boundary is nothing else it will separate the system to surrounding it is called boundary and what is surrounding outside the boundary it is called surrounding so here we are considering air is a surrounding means atmosphere is a surrounding so basically so there are three types of system the first one is open system what is open system so in case of an open system suppose this is a system so in which system there is a transfer of heat there is a transfer of heat as well as there is a transfer of mass it is called open system so in case of a open system heat is also transfer as well as mass is also transfer so this is a inlet outlet inlet of mass and outlet of mass so in which system there is a transfer of heat as well as transfer of mass it is called open system let us take one example of open system for example here we are considering turbine so in case of a turbine steam will transfer from inlet to outlet here the outlet is vapor or wet steam so so this is a transfer of mass from inlet to outlet in case of a turbine there is a transfer of mass as well as this turbine will reject the heat to atmosphere so this is a transfer of heat so let us take or you can consider the example of turbine in which there is a transfer of mass as well as transfer of heat it is a example of open system in short in open system heat is also transfer as well as mass is also transfer it is called open system the another type of system is called closed system what is closed system so in case of a closed system heat is transfer but there is no any transfer of mass mass does not transfer 
in case of a which system in which system only heat transfer will be take place but there is no any transfer of mass it is called closed system so in closed system mass does not transfer but only heat transfer will be take place it is called closed system let us take one example of closed system here we are considering piston cylinder device this is piston this is cylinder suppose this piston is fixed with some screw for any fixture so there is no any movement of piston here some gases are there like as air nitrogen oxygen whatever here you supply the heat through burner or any heat source so here you can see that there is no any transfer of mass means the mass is enclosed inside the system means there is no any transfer of mass mass does not transfer but only there is a transfer of heat here we supply the heat to vessel this vessel will reject the heat so there is a transfer of heat in this particular cylinder but there is no any transfer of mass it is called closed system what is isolated system the third one is isolated system so in case of a isolated system there is no any transfer of mass mass does not transfer as well as there is no any transfer of heat so isolated system means in which system mass does not cross the boundary as well as heat not does not cross the boundary so isolated system means what there is no any transfer of mass as well as there is no any transfer of heat it is called isolated system means mass does not cross the boundary as well as it does not cross the boundary it is called isolated system practically in nature there is no any isolated system but for our simplicity we can consider the thermos it's a example of isolated system so here you can see that we can maintain the temperature suppose any hot fluid is filled inside the thermos so it will remain hot for a long time or any cold fluid is filled inside the cylinder or any fluid hot fluid will remain inside the system it will maintain the temperature for a long time as well as cold fluid it also maintain the temperature for a long time 6 hour to 8 hour or 10 hour it is called isolated system so in isolated system there is no any transfer of heat it does not transfer as well as mass does not transfer it is called isolated system but practically in nature there is no any isolated system all system somehow in small quantity it will reject the heat so in nature practically there is no any isolated system but you can consider the example of thermos in which we can maintain the temperature up to 8 hour to 10 hour means we can maintain the temperature for hot fluid as well as cold fluid for a long time so it is called isolated system what is surrounding we already discussed system means what you can consider any part of universe it is a system then surrounding and boundary boundary is stand types of boundary let us take one example of refrigerator okay this is a refrigerator 
ओके सो द इनसाइड द कैबिनेट ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेटर इट इज माय सिस्टम सिस्टम मींस वी कैन कंसीडर एनी पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्स सो हियर वी आर कंसीडरिंग द इंटरनल पार्ट ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेटर इट इज माय सिस्टम दिस वॉल इज माय बाउंड्री एंड आउटसाइड द बाउंड्री द एटमॉस्फेयर the outside the boundary the atmospheric air air is my surrounding so what is system system is nothing else we can consider any part of universe here we are considering internal part of refrigerator it is my system what is boundary so boundary will separate system and surrounding it is called boundary so boundary means what it will separate the system to surrounding what is surrounding so outside the boundary it is called surrounding so in that case the boundary is the wall of refrigerator it is fixed with respect to temperature pressure or different properties of gases so it is called fixed boundary now we will discuss types of boundary how many types of boundary okay so the wall of refrigerator means the size of the refrigerator does not change with respect to any change in pressure and temperature inside the system so it is called fixed boundary means the boundary does not change it is called fixed boundary let us take another example of fixed boundary for example ic engine wall so in case of a internal combustion engine or i want to learn the behavior of the gases inside the combustion chamber so the inside the combustion chamber means combustion chamber it's my system the wall of the engine it's my boundary and outside the engine means atmospheric air it will be there it is my surrounding so the body of the engine it's also example of fixed surrounding so you can consider there are various example of system surrounding a boundary so we can classify the boundary the first one is fixed boundary we already discuss what is fixed boundary boundary does not change with respect to shape and size it is called fixed boundary another is movable boundary what is movable boundary movable boundary means what whenever we change any parameter pressure temperature or any property of gases or any fluid at that time the boundary will change it is called movable boundary let us take one example of balloon for example this is the initial position of balloon okay whenever we fill whenever we inflate the air inside the balloon the size of the balloon is continuously increases by increasing the pressure inside the balloon so it is a example of movable boundary so balloon is a example of movable boundary in which the boundary is continuously changed with respect to change in pressure so movable boundary means what the boundary allow to change with respect to any property of fluid it is called movable boundary and fluid means air is also fluid as well as liquid is also fluid so it is a best example of movable boundary let us take another example of movable boundary you can consider example of basketball it is also movable you can consider the example of tire tube it is also movable so there are various types of example available of movable boundary the third one is imaginary boundary what is imaginary boundary so imaginary boundary means nothing else 
here we are considering the example of melting of ice so melting of ice is the best example